Ken Whitey with Paddle TV here, and I am surrounded by my picks for the best beginner kayak of the year. We are giving away some awards. We are giving away best in class awards for best beginner kayaks of the year. A quick caveat to that, COVID made things challenging in general this year. And one of those challenges was that kayaks were really hard to come by if you wanted to buy them, but also if you wanted to do boat reviews. And so, although I got to do 25 recreational and touring kayak full boat reviews and tests, I'll leave a, a link in the description box down below for you to check out. I didn't get every kayak that I wanted to test. So this best in class is my selection from the kayaks that I got to test, and these are all great kayaks that you should definitely consider if you're looking at a first time boat. First kayak we're gonna talk about is the Oru Kayak Inlet. The Oru Kayak Inlet is a portable sit inside kayak. It retails for 899 US dollars. It's nine feet, six inches long. It's 30 inches wide. It weighs 20 pounds or nine kilograms and has a capacity of 275 pounds or 125 kilograms. So why did I choose the Oru Kayak Inlet to be one of the best in class? Well, there's a bunch of different reasons. Number one, it's very easy to assemble and disassemble. Number two, it performs very well for a portable kayak. In fact, it's performs almost, not quite, as well as a nine foot hard shell kayak. And in terms of value, $899 for a portable kayak that performs well is pretty good. But the icing on the cake is the fact that this thing weighs in at 20 pounds. 20 pounds for a full size kayak. I mean, that's exceptional. One of the biggest challenges people have with recreational kayaks is recreational kayaks typically range from 50 to over 100 pounds. And so getting the boat to the water is a huge hurdle to overcome. With this kayak, pretty much anyone can get the boat to the water and go for a paddle. So who is the Oro Kayak Inlet for? Well, very simply, this kayak is for paddlers for whom Portability is an essential feature. They might have problems transporting or storing a normal kayak. It's for paddlers who need a lightweight kayak, something that's easy to get to the water. It's for paddlers who need a kayak that's gonna be a little bit more stable and give up a little bit of speed for that stability. And it's for kayakers who are gonna to stick to protected waters, water that is protected from wind and waves. If that sounds like you, then the Oru Kayak Inlet is a kayak you definitely should consider. Next up, the Native Watercraft Falcon 11. The Native Watercraft Falcon 11 retails for 899 US dollars. It's 11 feet long. It's 32 and a half inches wide. It weighs 60 pounds or 27 kilos. It has a capacity of 325 pounds or 147 kilos. So what makes the Native Watercraft Falcon 11 one of my choices for best in class? Well, first and foremost, it delivers wonderful bang for the buck value. At 899 US dollars, this kayak has a lot of features. It has a frame seat with high and low positions. It has a center console, foot pegs, it even has scuppers. But one of the coolest features this kayak has that most kayaks don't is a wheel in the stern to help with transportation. Now this isn't the heaviest kayak, but still at 60 pounds, this is not an easy kayak to move around by yourself. And so that wheel on hard surfaces is a real bonus. Now on top of that, the Falcon 11 is an extremely stable kayak, although it does come at the cost of some speed. The Falcon 11 also happens to be a very comfortable kayak, and that's important to me, and that should be important to you. So who is the Native Watercraft Falcon 11 for? Well, it's for anyone who wants a stable, comfortable, and affordable sit-on-top kayak that they won't outgrow as they continue down their paddling journey. It's for kayakers who are interested in kayak fishing because this thing is ready to go for kayak anglers. And it's for kayakers who are gonna be sticking 
to calm waters, waters that are protected from wind and waves. So there you have it. That's why the native watercraft Falcon 11 is one of the best in class this year. Now let's look at another. Next up, we've got the Wilderness Systems Pungo 120 and the Jackson Kayak Tupelo 12.5. So here's the deal. This kayak is two kayaks because truth of the matter is, both of these kayaks are great kayaks. I couldn't choose which one and they're very similar in nature. So we're going with both. The Wilderness Systems Pungo 120 and the Jackson Kayak Tupelo 12.5 are both sit inside recreational kayaks. They both retail for 999 US dollars and they both come in different sizes for smaller or larger paddlers. The Pungo is 12 feet 2 inches long while the Tupelo is 12 feet 5 inches long. Both are 29 inches wide. The Tupelo weighs 55 pounds while the Pungo weighs 49 pounds. And the Tupelo has a capacity of 300 pounds while the Pungo has a capacity of 325 pounds. All right, so what makes both of these kayaks best in class? Well, first and foremost, they are high quality kayaks. There's nothing flimsy about them. They also have all the features you'd expect and want from a beginner kayak, from bungees in the bow and stern to stern hatch, a locking stern hatch with a bulkhead. These kayaks are both very comfortable too. They have great seats and they have foot pegs. In terms of performance, they perform very similarly. They are both stable, fast, comfortable, and fun to paddle. Now, what are the differences between these two kayaks? Well, the Tupelo has an elevated and removable seat, whereas the Pungo has a seat with under leg support. The Pungo also has a removable dashboard, while the Tupelo has gear tracks installed in the front and back. So who are these kayaks for? Well, these kayaks are for someone who's looking for a kayak that they can grow with. They're for someone who wants a kayak that's fun to paddle and not just as stable as possible. And they're for someone who is willing to spend a little bit more money for a kayak that's high quality and is going to last for years and years. If that's what you're looking for, then you should definitely consider one of these kayaks. Next up, we got the Tahe Sport Supyak. The Tahe 11.6 Beach Supyak retails for 699 US dollars. It's 11 feet 6 inches long. It's 36 inches wide. It has a weight of 25 pounds or 11 kilograms and it has a capacity of 450 pounds or 200 kilograms. So why is the 11.6 Beach Supyak in the best of class? It's not because it's the best kayak because it's not. It's not because it's the best stand up paddleboard because it isn't. The reason it's in best in class is because it's what I call the great compromise. For new paddlers who aren't sure whether they're going to kayak or stand up paddle, you no longer have to decide. This board, board? <laughs> combination of boat and board does both. It doesn't do either great, but it does both very well. Now on top of that, it does it at a remarkable value. I mean, this is, in my opinion, hands down, the best value of the year. At 699 US dollars, you get not only a kayak that works like a stand up paddleboard, but you get the kayak, two seats, because this is designed to be used as a single or a tandem. Albeit, if you're using it as a tandem, I think you'd want to be two small people. Aside from that, it comes with two foot rests two stand-up paddles, a pump, a repair kit, and a carry bag, a backpack, all of that for 699 US dollars. That alone, coupled with the fact that Tahe makes high quality products, says to me, this is exceptional value. Who is this watercraft for? Well, this watercraft is for anyone who can't decide between a stand-up paddleboard and a kayak, or that wants both a stand-up paddleboard and a kayak. It's for people that are going to be sticking to calm water, water that's protected from wind and waves. And it's for people who want the option to be able to use the kayak or stand-up paddleboard as a tandem. So if that sounds like the right fit for you, then you definitely should consider the Tahe 11.6 Beach Supyak. Now let's check out the final boat to consider. Well, last but certainly not least, we have the Perception Pescador 
10.0. The Perception Pescador 10.0 is a recreational sit on top kayak that has a retail price of $629. It's 10 feet 6 inches long, it's 32 inches wide, it weighs 57 pounds or 26 kilos, and it has a capacity of 325 pounds or 147 kilos. So why did I choose the Perception Pescador 10.0 to be one of the best in class beginner kayaks? Well, simply put, it's value, value, value. There are not many kayaks in this price range, 630 US dollars, that are of similar high quality builds and have key features. Things like foot pegs, lockable hatches, gear tracks installed for adding accessories and even a high back seat. And then you couple that with the fact that it performs very well. It's not super fast, but it, it travels nicely through the water, it's maneuverable, and it's quite stable. This deserves to be the best in class. So who is this kayak for? Well, this kayak is for small to average sized adults, people who want to recreational kayak or kayak fish. It's for paddlers who are willing to give up a little bit of comfort, in particular, a more comfortable seat to save some money. And with that said, that typically means it's for people who are more interested in short little paddling stints than long paddling adventures. So there you have it, five, well actually six, great beginner kayaks that you really need to consider if you're shopping for your first kayak. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. And if you have, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to Paddle TV, because we not only have more best in class awards to give, but I've got lots, lots more gear reviews coming your way, paddling tips, and even some paddling adventures. So stay tuned for lots more paddling. Okay, now I gotta get out of here. Do I go forward? Do I go backward? Oh my God. Ugh. This thing is good. Don't like these kayaks anymore. <laughs>